queridos, gracias por estar aquí. Welcome and thank you everyone for coming. I'm Ana Vázquez, the cultural director here. This is the Instituto Cervantes. This is a non-profit uh, organization funded by, by the Spanish government in 1991 to promote the Spanish language and also the uh, Spanish and Hispanic American cultures. Today, with the Raymond Russell Society, we pay tribute to poet John Ashbery and celebrate the extraordinary legacy of Raymond Russell. Let me introduce to you John Bofield, the curator, coordinator, and our MC today, um, who tell us more about uh, the project. John Bofield Amardos is a visual artist, creative director, and producer. He began his work in the audiovisual world at the hand of Jose Montes Baquer, the producer of Salvador Dalí's final work, Impresiones de la Alta Mongolia. Bofil discovered uh, Husserl and his, and his work through this film, and he began a study which led him to interview different figures in the world of art and literature. As a result of this research, he created and produced a documentary film titled Raymond Husserl, Le Jour de Gloire completed in 2016. In commemoration of the centennial of Russell's novel, novel uh, sorry, Locus Solus, the film produced a short starring Miquel Barceló and Michel Boudot, La I, with music by Pierre Bastien. Bastien. He is also co-founder of the Raymond Russell Society, whose mission is to promote Raymond Russell and his work as well as to encourage culture and art inspired by Russell. I invite John Buffett to join me and the floor is yours. Thank you, Anna. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, thank you for being here today. Uh, the Raymond Russell Society is a, is a point of encounter for artists, thinkers and revolutionaries who identify with the Russellian spirit. It unites today's avant-garde to foster synergies and new connections. Our dream is to go beyond merely connecting this diverse and philosophically varied group by providing support and promotion of creators in all disciplines who share ourselves vision and spirit. Writers, artists, musicians, philosophers, actors, all who might lack support of their art because of their different perceptions of the world, their experimentation, and their challenges to the status quo. The Raymond Roussel Society is a not-for-profit literary and artistic society dedicated to promoting and honoring the French writer Raymond Roussel and his work, as well as promoting culture and art inspired by him. The society consists of a select group of creators, thinkers, and artists who are profoundly influenced by Roussel and who do not wish that he be forgotten. The founding members of the society are John Ashbery, Miquel Barcelo, Michel Butor, who unfortunately passed away in 2016, Thor Halverson, Hermes Salceda and myself. This is a very special lunch in which we are going to honor the poet John Ashbery, a founding member of the Raymond Roussel Society. We are also going to speak about the genius of Raymond Roussel and his impact on culture and art. Raymond Roussel is first and foremost a unique writer, a singularity in literature. Uh, that Roussel separated his personal life from his work makes academic discourse more challenging. Unlike many authors whose art is closely linked to their, li to their lives, it is the mystery surrounding his person that makes him such a powerful literary figure. As Cesar Aida has said, each reader of Roussel's work aspires to be the only one who understands him. Roussel becomes a point of dissension between the four different Roussellian camps. Number one, the Roussel mystery camp, those readers who feel admiration for the dandy, the decadent writer suffering illness, the millionaire, the homosexual, the traveler. Number two would be Roussel and the avant-garde, those who see him as a precursor of surrealism. The reception of his work goes beyond the machines, childlike and unique inventions therein. Number three would be Roussel and the procedure, le procédé, those who read him from the perspective of 60s structuralism, nouveau roman and ulipo. His impact on literature, the inclusion of potentiality, the use of play and words in his writing related to Ulipo. And number four, Roussel and art, those who focus on his reception in the world of art, the uses that artists credited Roussel with using his techniques or taking the seed of an idea of his and transforming it into something else, or even dramatizing elements of his books. 
His greatest followers have been in the United States, as uh, Guido Quante and Rodney Graham. And we are also we have uh, here also Trevor Wingfield, who is uh, an amazing artist. He's here tonight with us. Uh, to be Russellian implies belonging to a living universe of unique individuals. It's not a question of simply bunching together a group with the same spirit. I would like, through Halverson, co-founder of the Society, to introduce the figure of Raymond Roussel, and directly afterwards, our distinguished guest, who will speak about Roussel's influence in contemporary art.